Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to part two of Starfire Action Battle System for demo. And in this episode, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up enemies. So, in order to set up enemies, there are a few things we have to go over. So, bringing back, going back to the um, to the what would you, what would I call this? The guide set up by the creator of the script itself. If we want to create an enemy, there's a few um, note tags that we need to learn or reference the guide every time we need to know what we need to do. So the first one is skills. So when, once you put the skills, then you could determine which skills ID that the enemies can use. And also you could decide if you want to make the enemy an object or not an object. And that may, basically means... Um, makes the enemy an object that will be unable to move and attack. So it's an object. So things like barrels, let's say you want to make a barrel, you could have it stand there, not be able to move or attack, but you can attack it and destroy it basically. And view basically how far in virtual pixels that the enemy can see. So one tile equals four virtual pixel. I don't, it's something related with um, pixel movement. I don't actually know. But, um, so I'm just gonna say in tiles, so something like that. I don't I don't really know. So basically, how far the enemy can see. Recover X is basically the recovery and frame rate. That means how fast the enemy is gonna be attacking you. Um, nature, actually no step animation. So do you want the um make the enemy custom? So step animation is the same thing that you will get in your regular event um setup. So you could decide if you want to make the enemy constantly um constantly animated or not. So nature is basically the enemy's nature. Does he um zero only attacks, one attacks and cast skills, and two only cast skills. So one zero only attack, one attacks and cast skills, and zero I mean two only at only cast skills. Character name characters I mean enemies graphic name again we're gonna be getting into that later. The rest we don't actually need to know, but I'm gonna go over them anyways. So character I mean, we, you don't need to know them now, but they are important. You do need to know them. Animation enemies attack animation. Auto attack make the um enemy automatically attack. Useful in traps. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I actually know what that means now. Static. The player cannot attack the enemy by any mode. I don't know what that means. So we are now going to go back to RPG Maker VS Ace. And set up a simple enemy. So we are gonna use this enemy that we've already made. So the stats are already made, everything's already made. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to go back. This is what I like to do when I'm using scripts that I don't know how to use. Um, is basically just go into the same menu and then look at how they have it set up and everything like that. So this is um actually before we do this, find the enemy that we want to mimic. Which I'm gonna say these ones. So enemy one, and I'm gonna get into what this local SW means later. Which is, which is local switch, which is self switch. But again, later. So enemy one, this is the enemy one. So basically, the, those first enemies that we were encountering were these flying enemies, and basically this is their stats, and this is the more important thing that we need to focus on. So the nature is zero means it only attacks and it doesn't cast skills, it only attacks. Animation is um, 82. Basically, the animation is the attack animation, Animation, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. 82, yep, attack animation, I was right. So go back to the enemies. Then the character, which is basically... Um, when you set up these monsters, you have to go into your um, character sprites and find out the name of the character that you want, and then the index of it, and then I'm actually going to copy this and then go back to my to mine real quick. Go ahead and paste this. So what we're going to do is actually show you how to get the character um, ID and the index ID. So what we want to do now is make a new event. And I'm going to just skip some steps real quick. Was there a space? Zero, one. I don't, I'm not sure if there was a space or not, but let me go back real quick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. I didn't actually need a zero, one, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to read the zero, so I'm going to keep it zero, one. 
And what we're going to do now is actually go into here. So basically what you need to do is find that. Let's say you want to use the actor and you want to use this guy with the green hair. So what you want to do is index um, Ralph is zero and then the girl is one and then the guy with green hair is two and then the girl with blue hair is three. Now this is a confusing part. I don't know if four would be this old guy or this guy with the orange hair. So I'm not 100% sure but it's either this guy or this guy. So we're going to use the... Uh, um, actor one index three for the guy with green hair. So what we're gonna do now is go here, change this to actor actor one index one two, yeah two I believe and there's two and I'm actually going to change this guy's and change him to her and see what happens when we actually go in game and move this guy all the way here because we don't want it to attack us. Mm -hmm. Forgot to lower my volume. And as you can see, instead of it being the girl, he's now this guy. So we're gonna go ahead and go attack him real quick. Maybe he'll kill us, maybe he won't. Let's see. Okay, he's doing zero damage to us, but we're not actually okay. Now we're attacking him. I don't know why my attack is so slow for, but Okay, and we killed them. So that's basically how you set up an enemy. Since we have a lot of time left, I'm going to go more in depth. So again, you can just get rid of this. Hold on. I actually don't know, but let's test it out and see what happens. But I believe you can get rid of that and just use her graphics um, instead of using the one defined in the... The one defined... Uh, I keep on doing that, but whatever. Might as well go see we can use um her graphics then if we don't want to do that we could just do it like that so yeah that's actually the way i prefer doing this instead of um have, having to remember all of that we could just go ahead and set it um already and we don't have to worry about which index is which so this is how i set up my enemies now i'm gonna pause the video real quick because i don't want to waste any more time and read something real quick that i need to read and come back to you guys okay back to the guide so now we're gonna after we've set up the enemies in the hmm, after we set up the enemies in the database now we have to learn how to set them up in the map i've already jumped ahead and showed you guys how to spawn an enemy i'm actually gonna scroll down here i showed you guys how to spawn an enemy by using the um no comment command enemy x extended for the id and then we're gonna go over the um other notes so attack invincibility means the enemy cannot be attacked by um by you um, skill invincibility, the enemy cannot be attacked by your skills. Erase means whenever the enemy dies, it erases. This is what I use um, for most of my enemies to keep them responding after I leave the map and re-enter the map. And local SW is for um, cell switches. So 0 is A, 1 is B, 2 is C, and 3 is D. So basically, if you want your, if you, after you kill an enemy, if you want them to turn on a self switch, you go ahead and use local SWX, which stands for local self switch X. And then you could, the X again is a placeholder for the number zero to three. So if you wanted to turn on self switch A after it dies, you could use the local SW and then change the X to zero for local self switch A. I keep on saying local self switch a um and then again it's if you want every time the enemy dies and if you wanted to turn on a specific switch you go ahead and leave put the note command switch x x again standing for the id of the switch that you want and then variable is the same thing as a switch and local switch and the self switch so basically every time an enemy dies if you wanted to turn up turn up a switch um by one you basically just put the um switch ID there and then when the enemy dies the switch goes up by one okay so I'm gonna explain that again because it sounded confusing to me so basically if you put variable X X being the ID the variable ID 
every time you kill that enemy, the variable ID goes up by one. There we go. That's better. So in the example, it says variable 23, 23 being the variable ID. Every time you kill an enemy with this um, command in it, the variable number 23 goes up by one. Yay. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and okay, just put erase. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Again, I could break these up into two different commands. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to keep it to one. And that's basically how you would set up your enemies on the map. And with that being said, that would be it for this episode. Next episode, we're going to be exploring how to set up skills and how to give those skills to, of course, enemies. So what I'm actually going to do right now is kill this girl and show you what happens after I leave and re-enter the map. So we have left and now we have re-entered. And you, as you can see, she's back. Back, 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 back. What's in this chest? I want to know. This item was found. Okay. Yeah. Leave me alone. I'm flying. Wee. So that's basically it. Again, this is how you would simply set up an enemy. If you want to have these um, extra commands in it, maybe you want it to, um, you want to set up half, um, how far it can see or stuff like that. Or you want to set how often she can attack. So I'm actually going to move this over and actually find uh recover okay recover x capital r so if you want to set how far i mean how fast you want the enemy to attack you basically just find the command you want equals let's make it let's make her attack really fast and that's basically how you would do it and is there anything else that are you missing? Go to a tab, blah, 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 make an enemy object. Okay, so that's basically what you want. Again, if you want it to become an object, you just put in object, and now the enemy is an object. So let's go ahead and see what, um, I'm not sure if I have to capitalize that, but let's go ahead and just see what happens. I'm actually going to, to save once I leave this place. As you can see, she is now an object, and she's here. She's an object, she's not attacking me any longer, and she's just standing there being an object. So, that's basically it for this episode. Again, if you want more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and that way you'll be updated every time I release a new video. And also make sure to comment below if you guys have any idea of a script tutorial you guys want me to do. Um, leave that down below so I can get back to you and do the tutorial for you if you want. Um, also like this video because it helps me out a lot. Again, thank you guys for watching. Peace.